Today, I bought the LEGO Star Wars Emperor Palpatine shuttle. So this came out back in 2010 with 592 pieces, 4 figures, and retailing for $60. So this is obviously set 8096, and the reason I really wanted to bring it up is because this is the same ship that the Bad Batch uses, and that show is coming out May 4th. So of course, I had to review it. So yeah, this is my set. I'm going to be giving my full opinions and thoughts at the end, but let's look at the set first and look at all the figures and all the builds. Before we get into the review, I just want to ask you all to check out my new lug, Stud Lug. We are going to be posting loads of mocks there. We already hit 100 subscribers. I would like to get 150, 200 soon, so please help me out. I'll leave a link in the description and the pinned comment. I'll also leave a little thing up here. So just click on that, press subscribe, and come back to this video. Thank you very much. Now, first up, our figure here is Darth Vader or Anakin Skywalker. Now, this is a pretty neat figure. This was our first real battle damage Vader since 2005, where he came in a special set. He has some back printing, which is super, super fun. He also has this nice, like, you know, it's like one arm's burned off, one kind of isn't. It is weird that way. I, I don't really know. Uh, you know, I don't I don't know how accurate that is. I know he was missing an arm, so I don't know if the black area, like the legs are supposed to represent missing limbs or whatever. Comes with the OG Darth Vader helmet. The face is a little weird. It doesn't exactly match up with other Anakins uh, in terms of, you know, the angry face. Like, I, if they did the angry face more from the, uh, you know, Palpatine's arrest set, that would probably make more sense. He got some, some nice scars there. Nothing on the back. He comes with, obviously, his lightsaber that I just put on him. And he's just a neat figure. Next up, we have the Dark Lord of the Sith, Darth Sidious. Now, he comes with his nice lightsaber, he comes with a cape, he comes with his little hood, he even comes with a nice face print. You can turn him around, see the cape, there isn't much back there, it's plain and black, you know. Honestly, if they were, like, like I know a lot of prints now, what they'll do is they'll give him capes, but they'll still put back, back printing. Like, no, save it for the arms or something. Uh, the back printing isn't much needed, but certainly a nice figure, not exclusive in any way, but, you know, it's pretty nice. Now here we have the exclusive shuttle pilot. Not much on the legs or arms, uh, but the torso print is certainly nice. You get this nice little helmet mold. This is a, certainly a neat feature. Uh, I think it would have been better if it was just all solid mold instead. You know, it's part headpiece, part um, you know helmet. Uh, you know, there's even some parts you don't see, and and you know, in the back it's all white. You see some straps there. Certainly a neat take. I was never a huge fan of the way they did these helmets. I think, you know, if you did it in the same design as the, like, big rebel helmets, like, like that would actually work for uh, these guys. Then finally, we have the medical droid. This guy is basically the regular medical droid, but he comes in silver. I love that. I think they should have gave him silver arms because, you know, the arms don't exactly work well with, uh, you know, the rest of it. This one arm is, like, as tall as he is, so I think it looks a little absurd, but I get what they were going for. I love the yellow eyes, the little vein going down. That's all really de neat and decent. Now, this set actually came with two instruction manuals. Obviously, you know, you'll get a taste for it. It was a little confusing with the way they did the grays in this one. You get some fun little details, like an ARC-170. You get a little preview of the turbo tank, uh, you know, General Grievous' fighter, uh, the ARC-170, and, you know, a nice little feature of all the little toys. Or, or all, all the little play features, if you will. So, here is the Emperor Palpatine's shuttle. First off, right off the bat, you get these two wings very thin, and you could just pop them up. Uh, we'll get more into the outer details later, but I want to start from the front and work our way to the back, then we'll do some of that stuff. So we have a little front cockpit. It comes with uh, two stickers on it. There's also a little... Um, feature there uh so what you're gonna want to do is take your little pilot he sits in a nice green chair which i think works super well you know it's just a fun little build it looks round you get the two little guns on the side and the cool thing about this is you can just pop on off then you're left with a load of technic stuff so before we get into that i just want to show you briefly the wing again i'm not a huge fan of the way they did this because one side is studded but then again one side isn't so it looks very weird on one side so you're always going to want a picture of it uh, from this side, uh, but here's how you take off the top. Uh, you're going to want to lift this, and this is a new thing they reintroduced with the new Imperial shuttle. You're going to lift this, you're going to want to lift this piece right here, and by the way, there are some fun studded engines, nothing super special, again, pretty technic back there. And then you have the interior. Now, the way they did this was interesting. So you could, say, take off the Darth Vader's lightsaber and put it in this nice little, like, stick thing. I, I don't even know what to call it, but it's a great little resource to, you know, hold your lightsabers so when you're playing around with them inside, 
uh, you take off Darth Vader's helmet, you're going to want to put that right in here as so. And you're going to want to have Darth Vader kind of in here. Now, you must be wondering, you know, okay, so I have another area. I put Emperor Palpatine's lightsaber. Well, where do I put Palpatine? Uh, so you'd put Palpatine in one of these little green chairs down here, which I thought was a super creative design. Actually reminds me of Director Krennic's shuttle. And then there also, you could have the medical droid working on him right now. And, you know, again, Palpatine could chill here too. Uh, I have the Vader transformation set. That's not exactly what happens on the shuttle, but I understand for play purposes, that makes a ton of sense. Now, if you're wondering what this Technics piece does, basically you could say, take the Darth Vader figure. We're gonna just angle up a bit and you're gonna wanna take that and just push it on. The helmet goes directly on. You might need to help it a little bit. Then you pull it out and then you can just simply lift up Darth Vader and then, you know, he could scream, no, and then, you know, get all upset. Uh, he technically also sit down in the seat. The ba the uh, tactical droid dude can't. And then if you want, I guess, you know, he can sit here. And then if you want to recover it up, all you got to do is just simply hook it all in place. And like that, you have your shuttle back as seen here. On a small side note, there is a fun little turret back here. I love that. I love the way you just have like a little back turret. That's a nice detail they did not have to do. And then finally, obviously, after you lift up all this and you want to have it land, you have these beautiful landing gears. I think they work fantastically. They're just a little loose, um, so you want to land it. They land it like this or like so, uh, you know. You want to send it all the way forward, and it has a nice little bit of height to it. Now, that is all I have of the set. I don't have the box, but yeah. So this boy overall is pretty interesting. Uh, if I was to give it a number ranking, I think I'd give it a solid 7.5 out of 10. The figures are good, they're not great. The build itself is okay, not excellent, and it's overall like just an okay mediocre set. And $60 uh, just doesn't feel right for this to be completely honest, at least back in 2010, which is 11 years ago now, which is kind of insane. Now, if you want to pick up your own on the aftermarket, your best price that you're going to be paying for this is around $59. So look around, try to find the best possible deal. I got this one with all the figures and instructions. I did not get the box, however, you know, which stinks, but you know, what do you need a box for, really? The only thing I really used it for is thumbnails, and then I wanted to feature this ship in its glory. I think a great way to display it, and this is how I display a lot of LEGO Star Wars sets, even the ones behind me, uh, is with a pick a brick cup. It's great, little, easy display. Uh, nothing too complicated, you don't have to really go out of your way to buy it, and if you don't, you own a pick a crop up, but you want to display something like this, or any shuttle really like this, um, there are plenty of alternatives. But yeah, it really does make me miss the old days of when you had these more figure-inclusive transports. We very rarely get sets where you could fit more than a few figures. Uh, you know, this could probably fit three or four again. It, it's not fantastic, but like, say, the new Imperial Shuttle, which is right behind me. That could fit a grand total of three figures if you're pushing it. This one could probably fit close to six. But yeah, are you excited for the Bad Batch? I hope to see what the new Bad Batch shuttle is going to look like. It's likely going to come in more black, obviously. It's going to look very different uh, than this. It'll probably be, you know, be similar, general, same, you know, shape. But other than that, it, it would be nice to compare it. And hopefully maybe I'll compare it one day. We'll see. But with that said, I hope you guys all enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next one. Remember to peace out and stay awesome. Mm -hmm.